These are notes for section 5.2, solving linear systems by substitution. If we remember from previous videos, a linear system is simply a graph that has two lines on it, a linear system, two or more linear equations. Now, the answer is going to be the point where these two lines cross. Well, the point where these two lines cross is obviously right there. And when we look at a graph paper, this point is made up of an X comma Y. The ordered pair makes the point where the two lines cross. Now we can see this in a picture very easily or on a graph. We can also do this algebraically using some pre-algebra topics like substitution. Substitution meaning take the number that the variable is equal to and plug it in or substitute. So if we go back to like sixth and seventh grade math, two X plus three when x equals 5. So instead of x, let me grab a different color here, instead of x in the equation, what I could substitute in, what I could plug in for x would be the value of 5. So that would now read 2 times 5 plus 3. 2 times 5 is 10, 10 plus 3 is 13. Basic substitution. Now, it's going to get a little bit more challenging because we are in High school algebra two, but it's the same concept, substitution. So now again, I don't have a picture or I don't have graph paper. I'm not graphing these two lines. I'm using some algebra to solve the linear system. And it's the same concept that I just talked about above. I'm going to take the value of x, x equals negative six, and I'm going to substitute it into the equation. So that would read something like three y plus, and instead of x, I'm plugging in what x is equal to, negative 6 equals 12. And from here, it's an algebra 1, very basic equation. I need to try to get y by itself. I'm solving this equation. So 3 plus a negative 6 is just minus. To get rid of a minus 6, I can add. It's the inverse. And to get rid of a times 3, I can divide. So I get a value of y equals 6. Now, if you're thinking, oh, that's my answer, y equals 6, I'm done with the problem. Well, we've got to remember what it is we're looking at. We're looking at a linear system. And we talked about up here that the solution of a linear system is the point where the two lines cross. So I don't just have one number as my answer. I have two numbers, an ordered pair, x comma y. So if I come back down here to number 1, my x value, well, that was already given to me. Half of the answer is sitting there in front of me. It's negative 6. And the other half, this y value I just solved for, 6 comma 6. That is the point where these two lines cross. Negative 6 comma 6 is where this top line will cross the bottom line. On number 2, it says that y is equal to 5, which means instead of y, I can plug in 5. That would be 3x plus 2 times 5. That's some basic substitution. Take the number, plug it into the variable. And now I need to be able to solve this equation. 2 times 5 is 10. To get rid of a plus 10, I can subtract. Again, some Algebra 1 concepts here in solving equations. And to get rid of a times 3, I can divide. Negative 27 divided by 3 is negative 9. My answer is not just negative 9. My answer, the solution, the point where the two lines cross, is negative 9 x comma 5, x comma y. So that is the point where these two lines would cross. And we could prove this with a graph, uh, or we could prove it by plugging in both of these values or this ordered pair to see if it makes both equations true. One more of the easy ones. Again, substitution. I take this value of y, which is 10, and I plug it in for y. Negative 4x plus 10 equals 6. To get rid of a plus 10, I can subtract. And to get rid of a times negative 4, I can divide by negative 4. It's a 4, by the way. And negative 4 divided by negative 4 would be positive 1. So x equals 1. So my ordered pair would be 1 comma 10. This is the point where these two lines will cross. Those are the basic substitutions where the value of the variable is a number. y equal 10. y equal 5 x equal negative 6. We can do some more challenging problems where one of the variables is not already solved for. 
meaning I don't have y equal a number. What I have is y equal x minus 1. But it's the same kind of substitution. I'm going to take this expression, x minus 1, and plug it in for y. So it would look something like 2x minus 3. And remember, 3y or 3 times y. But instead of y, what I need to plug in is the expression x minus 1. So instead of y here, because that's what y is equal to, instead of a y, instead of a y, what we're plugging in is this x minus 1. So I have x minus 1. That would be y, and above it would just be the number that we plugged in. So a little bit more challenging on the substitution, but once you plug in that expression, then it just becomes an algebra 1 solving. To get rid of the parentheses, we distribute. After you distribute, you combine like terms. And now we're working to get x by itself. Get rid of a plus 3, you can subtract. And to get rid of a times negative 1, you can divide. So x would be equal to 4. Now again, that's not my full answer. The full answer is going to be an ordered pair, x comma y. Well, I already have the x value. The x value is 4. So what I need to do now is some more substitution. I can take this 4 and plug it in for x. So now it would read y equals 4 minus 1. So y would be equal to 3. So the ordered pair <coughs> where the two lines cross would be 4 comma 3. Basic substitution. Well, I mean, I guess these problems aren't basic substitution, but it's the same principle. So let's do a couple more together here. On number 5, it's given to me that y is equal to 6x minus 11. So everything in the equation except for the y is going to stay the same. Negative 2x minus 3 times y equal negative 7. But instead of y... I'm going to plug in what y is equal to. So that would be 6x minus 11. Once I've done the substitution, now it's a simple solving. Something that we should have from Algebra 1. Distribute, combine like terms, pick on the little guy, get the variable by itself. And yes, these problems take a little bit of work to get through. But just because it's longer does not mean that it's a more challenging problem. It's just that we need to make sure we don't make any silly mistakes along the way. And again, that's only half of my answer. We're looking for the ordered pair. So half of my answer is x equal 2. To find the other half, I take this value of x and I plug it in there. Now you might say, but how do you know which equation to plug it into? Well, it doesn't matter. You can plug it into whichever one you think is going to be easier to work through. The top one looks easier. So that's y equal 6 times 2 minus 11. y equal 12 minus 11. y equal 1. So my ordered pair, again, the x comma y, would be 2 comma 1 as the solution. Last one. On number 6, you might notice that the top equation or the bottom equation does not say y equals or x equals. So we're not ready to do any substitution yet. Notice on number six, I don't have x equals or y equals on the top one. And I don't have x equals or y equals on the bottom one. So what I need to do first is get one of these equations. So it says x equals 2y plus 11. And now that's what x is equal to. I can take this stuff and plug it into, substitute it into the other equation. That's negative 7 times x, negative 7 times x, but x in this case remembers 2y plus 11. That's the substitution. And uh, I need to copy down the rest of it, which is minus 2y equal negative 13. From here, I should be able to solve. To get rid of the parentheses, I distribute. After you distribute, you combine like terms. Well, that's minus 77. 
apologize. So yes, these problems do take a little bit of work to get through, but that's not that we can't do it. It's just that we have to make sure we don't make any silly mistakes. So that's negative 16y equal positive 64. And to get rid of a times negative 16, I can divide. And that's y equal negative 4. Now that's only half my answer. y equal negative 4 is only half of it. Remember, I'm looking for an ordered pair. So what I got to do is take this y equal negative 4, come on back up here and do more substitution. Doesn't matter which one you plug it into. You can plug it into the top, the middle, or the one that we solve for. You're going to get the same x value. So that would be 2 times negative 4 plus 11. I'm plugging it in right here. So that's negative 8 plus 11, which gives me a y, an x value of positive 3. The ordered pair for the solution being 3 comma negative 4. So we are solving linear systems by using substitution. Substitution is real basic. Take the number, plug it in for the variable, or it gets a little bit more challenging where we plug in the expression for the variable. But it all comes back to trying to find the point where those two lines cross. Hope that helps. Thanks.